so my name is Olivia Lazuardi. Um, I'm a full-time fashion blogger and I've been doing this for five years now. And today I want to share about my life working in the fashion industry while also living as a disciple of God. So working in the fashion industry has been my dream since I was young. Even before I went to uni, I wanted to take fashion as my major, but my mom was against it. <laughs> but long story short, after I graduated, I worked really hard and pursued my dream and become a fashion blogger until now. People always say that I have the best job in the world. <laughs> I get to travel the world every month. Uh, I get to attend all the clothes events in town. I get to sit at the front rows wa uh, watching fashion shows and I even get paid to promote the stuff that I wear. Well, it's true. <laughs> but, but in reality, uh, the life of a fashion blogger is not as glamorous as it, as it seems. Uh, I have a lot of struggles as well and I want to share it to you guys. Um, so today I blog full time and I manage a small team of five people and I run my fashion line and also being a wife and being a disciple of God as well. My schedule every day is never the same. Each week and day varies depending on whether I'm having a photo shoot, shooting for my YouTube, meeting with a brand, traveling, and many more. So as a disciple, having my mind and heart in the right place is very important. Mm. Letting God's word sink into my heart despite my busy schedule is quite challenging. My focus has to constantly be at the right place, or else it is very easy for me to stray away from God. I have to make effort for my quiet time with God, I have to be intimate with Him and enjoy our one-on-one -on -one time together. But that's not the only challenge I face as a fashion blogger. Here's a general idea of what my average workday looks like. I would scroll through my Instagram feed and see perfectly tan bodies taking candid shots of themselves in professionally arranged bedrooms, eating breakfast in bed, wearing the latest $800 pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> my self-worth would drop every time I compared their hashtag I woke up like this to my hashtag I woke up with my hair in knots and a giant <laughs> zip that wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> The toughest part is when brands compare different influencers to find, to find the one that they think is the best to represent the image. And I know that's normal because that's how it works. So in my world, outwards appearance is number one or else I wouldn't get the job. So without realizing, I always compare myself to other people and I began to feel insecure all the time. I'm finding my security in beauty, status, luxury stuff, or even my job. But Peter said in the Bible, don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or even beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourself instead with the beauty that comes from within, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. This is how the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. They put their trust in God. So it's pretty obvious, right? We have to put our trust in God. After meditating on this, I know I have to stop wasting my time and energy looking for security from beauty, money, maybe my husband, just like what you say, partners, my job or anyone or anything else that's, that's not God himself, who is the only true source of security. Another challenge that I face is when people talk behind my back. People create gossips about me, they talk behind my back. Some of them really say harsh things about me. There's this one time uh, I cried for a week straight because I discovered a screenshot of girls chatting on WhatsApp, gossiping about me. They say hurtful things that you wouldn't even want to hear. It was so painful I couldn't get out from my house because I was super insecure. Uh, I'm very insecure on how people would think about me. I care too much about it and I realized I, am, I was self-reliant, not God-dependent. Turning my worries into prayers instead of using my own strength is actually the key. Making a habit of praying about my concerns as soon as they come into my mind helps me a lot. 
If I'm not God dependent, I can be very bitter towards everyone because I feel like I cannot trust anybody, so I don't want to be friends with anyone. That's why I couldn't get out of my house. But God gave me strength to love everyone, including our enemies. God gave me the strength to forgive other people, even though I know these people always talk bad about me, I still love them anyway. And that's how I can live in peace, because my security is not based on what people say about me, but through the strength that God gave me. Insecurity is a form of fear, right? Just like Chifania said. But believe it or not, insecurity is not only a warning, but also an invitation. God is inviting us to find peace in Him. So yeah, uh, let's conquer insecurities together as women in God. Amen.